Qatar occupies third place on the list of wealthiest countries in the world. Qataris enjoy an average income of about $86,000 a year and have good reason to live luxuriously with their opulent lifestyles. So if ordinary people can live reasonably comfortably, it's not hard to imagine the lavish lifestyle of royalty here in Qatar. Historically, Qatar United Arab Emirates became a British protectorate after World War I and eventually gained independence. A tiny piece of land borders Saudi Arabia and the rest of the country is surrounded by water. The vast majority of this territory is flat and dry, which is why about 5% of it is used for agriculture. This country's government is ruled by the Al Thani family, one of the world's most influential royal families. Some reports have said that Qatari royal family has $335 billion in net worth. That is an extraordinary amount within the world finance. So, it's no wonder they're living comfortably, buying real estates and yachts, and buying teams in sports and other business ventures. Stay tuned to learn more about the Qatar's royal family in this video. You'll also find an inside story on their lifestyle. Let's take a look at the history of one of Qatar's most well-known modern families, the Al Thani family, who has been serving as Qatar's ruling family and is a significant force in the country controlling essential aspects of Qatari government. This revenue is key to helping to reduce power struggles within the family, including who gets appointed to specific roles and how they receive compensation. A legal change that was made back in 1996 also helped address this issue by allowing an emir to name his successor, which can limit one potential source of tension among the members of the Al Thani family. The family's conversion from Islam to Wahhabism was not an attempt to win Saudi Arabia's alliance or protection from them. Their relationship with Saudi Arabia is independent of their religious beliefs, which remain separate entities. The Al Thani family, unlike other Arab rulers, they started at the bottom and gradually worked their way up to the top. The origins of this power came from the British and Ottoman imperial's politics. As these two intersected with Qatar's independence, Qatar became intrinsically linked with the Al Thani family. Now, let's start with a look at the ultra luxurious abode of the Qatari royal family. The Al Thani family that owns Qatar also owns the Olympic Village built for the London Olympic Games in 2012 and owns 20% of London's airport Heathrow. When you live in London, it's not surprising to find someone with extravagant taste and willing to spend 80 million US dollars on a mansion. Sheikha Moza bin Nasar al Mizned apparently agrees with you, as she reportedly bought an entire row of homes in Cornwall Terrace for that amount. Then, she went as far as to pay another $40 million for her own home at 23 Cornwall Terrace. Cornwall Terrace provides 21,500 square feet of luxury, including a laser complex with a gym and indoor swimming pool. It has 7 bedrooms, 11 reception rooms, 9 bathrooms, and beauty treatment spaces. Meanwhile, 2 to 3 Cornwall Terrace offers 6 bedrooms and almost 15,000 square feet of living space. Media sources suggest that the family set out to convert the grade 1 listed building into an unprecedented 17-bedroom mega mansion worth $230 million. The former emir of Qatar made an investment of $210 million in multiple solo martel funds with real estate in the United States, India, Morocco, Malaysia, Panama, and Turkey. Most investments were made in funds containing real estate infrastructure in the United States, including the iconic solo martel real estate fund operating properties in Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, dubbed by many as America's most profitable publicly available real estate investment of the year in the year 2020. Located on Park Lane, the 100 million pound building was nicknamed the Sheik Shack. It took six years to refurbish a 44,000 square feet property, and although it's 17 bedrooms, it has been said that it is less grand than Buckingham Palace. However, the 50 feet ballroom offers stunning views across Hyde Park and an estimated 100 million worth of furniture inside. Now, let's talk about their luxurious way of traveling. With a fleet of luxury vehicles for their personal use, Qatar's royal family is easily recognizable by their cars. They drive everything from the Porsche Panamera to the Ferrari F430 Spider. However, one of the most popular models is the Bugatti Chiron. That's because this high-performance vehicle stood out in the automotive industry with its incredible attention to performance and detail to an equally excellent price. For example, watch as a member of Qatar's royal family drives a Bugatti Chiron on one occasion. The Chiron Super Sport 300 isn't your typical Bugatti. 
In 2018, the car set the world record for being the fastest in history, reaching over 300 miles per hour or 482 kilometers per hour. The Super Sport has a top speed of 273 miles per hour or 440 kilometers per hour. You can also buy an even more expensive and faster variant, the Chiron Sport. Bugatti only produced 40 Devos starting at $5 million each. Not only is Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani the owner of Bugatti Devo, but he also has been seen driving it around London. Earlier this year, he was noted transporting it to the United Kingdom alongside his Lamborghini Sion FKP37 and Ferrari Monza SP2. It might not be a secret that people with money love to buy expensive boats, Hence the fact that the Qatari royal family's Qatari yachts were parked in Falmouth, Cornwall wasn't surprising in August. The super yacht cost 348 million US dollars and it's one of the largest super yachts in the world. It was met by the World Cruise Liner and you can probably guess what happened next. This isn't the only yacht in his collection. The Qatari royals also own Al Mirkab, named one of the most beautiful yachts in 2008 by Forbes magazine. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of Qatar, opted to vacation on Sikyatos after selling Al Mirkab. The 50 people on the yacht had to be tested for COVID-19 before they could sail in the Aegean Sea. The boat comes with medical staff and a molecular analyzer so you can continuously test your crewmates even at sea. The vessel has 12 rooms, 2 pools, a gym, a theater, and even a jacuzzi. Besides handcrafted furniture in each room, the yacht is decorated with art by famous artists like Picasso and Van Gogh. The Qatar royal family loves sports. Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani is passionate about promoting the desert nation's international reputation through sports. He is not only the head of the National Olympic Committee, but also plays a crucial role in purchasing the Paris Saint Germain Football Club. Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasar Al Thani, a member of the Qatari royal family, purchased the Spanish club Malaga for $44 million in June of 2010. During his visit to Al Bayt Stadium Park in August 2022, he also walked with local students to raise awareness about sports and encourage young people to adopt healthy habits. He also loves it so much that it's clear he walks as part of a habit. The son of the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, reportedly expressed interest in buying struggling Serie A club Sampdoria. The Qatari royal has had a soft spot for the team since childhood and admitted that he still follows their games closely. Without some family gossip, the story of a rich family is incomplete. One of the most famous playboys in Qatar is a prince who caused a stare at the University of Southern California in 2011 when he studied there. He arrived on a private jet with servants, chauffeurs, security guards, and more on board. A report claimed that he could skip classes and get his master's degree without attending school. It had never been offered to anyone before or after he was a student there. A professor also said when the prince submitted his final paper, it was sent along with a Rolex watch. After questions about the prince's college degree surfaced, another scandal rocked Al Thani's house. In May, Kasha Galano's body was found in her home of a drug overdose. The ex-wife of Qatari prince Abdelaziz bin Khalifa Al Thani has died at the age of 22. The news came to light today that Jane Galano has passed away. In addition, Qatar's former oil and finance minister was accused of touching a minor inappropriately. The exiled Qatari, whose father was overthrown by his brother 20 years ago, denies the allegation. The Qatari royal family is worth nearly $300 billion and has made a name for themselves by flaunting their wealth with fine mansions fast cars, and giant yachts. The Savoy family line has 8,000 members, which can be traced back to the 17th century. They've had millions and millions of dollars worth of property throughout history. In Qatar, the Shard is owned by 95% of the population. They also have shares in such companies as Louise Catorze, Porsche, Barclays, and Paris Saint-Germain Football Club. Qatar is home to some highly lucrative investment that the royal family has gone out of its way to put on the map. They've helmed some of the world's most significant sporting events and are hosting this year's FIFA World Cup and will be hosting the 2020 Asian Games for the second time in 2030. The ruling dynasty of Qatar is headed by Emir Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, a 42-year-old billionaire. The Emir is the heir of his father, who renounced his claim to the title and left many of the family members in high-powered positions in the Qatari government. This video discusses the Qatari royal family including their wealth and lifestyles. If you're interested, you can learn more about the poorest royal families in the world at the link down below.